All right, Virginia creeper, I'm safe to touch it and rip it the heck out because it is aggressive and takes everything with it. I just didn't want to touch it if it was poison ivy because highly allergic. It's one of the only things I use chemicals on because that crap just needs to die. Which is all back in there. <laughs> all right. Now we are going to try to do something else we're not supposed to do. We are not going to be transplanting sunflowers. That does not go well. Shove those babies in the ground and call it a day because they just live where they live. But we are going to try to transplant some of the zinnias because I have... Let me turn you around. I live in an area with a lot of old farmers. Older people who've been... Sorry, Elvis is being weird who have been gardening forever and this guy has a garden in his front yard next to a tree line and it never gets touched by any deer my deer jump my six foot freaking fence and eat my crap and the rabbits just like go right through the rabbit wire crap so what he does is he plants zinnias a line of zinnias so I want to dig up some of these zinnias and go put them in my garden because the peas I was so proud of growing, finally, the bunnies ate the bottom six inches and they're dead now. Yeah, a little annoyed about that one. <laughs> so we're going to dig up some of these zinnias and transplant them back to the big garden this morning. No idea if this is going to work. And I already hauled the hose all the way up here. I have to haul it all the way back so I can water them in. All right. Hopefully, I do not kill anything. Let's all pray. And get to this. Welcome to my Zinnia and Cosmos jungle. I don't know what that is. You guys can even see it. Probably poison ivy. I probably just touched the poison ivy. That's not poison ivy, though. I think I might have gotten all the poison ivy. Which would be fabulous. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Got my bucket. Got gnats. All right, we're gonna take some of the unhealthier looking ones. Let's see. I'm gonna go pretty deep here. I missed a few roots. Let's get these babies. Oh, I think I just killed him. I know I have dahlias in here somewhere. <laughs> I just don't know where. And this was just a big hole in my yard doing nothing for me. And now it seems that since I filled it up with proper things, it's pretty dang happy. Oh, we got a worm. So if this works, I'm gonna be a very, very happy woman. All right. Oh, okay, we'll take you two. Yeah, those are very close together. But if you notice those are close together, I got better over there. Not so close together. It's a learning thing. This little guy may prove me wrong on transplanting um, sunflowers. Yes, some of these leaves are not super healthy, but the new growth is amazing. So I had planted this in this bed. However, 
I found this little guy over here. So somebody moved him and I put him back. Yesterday, I thought it was dead. This morning I come back and there's new growth. So we're gonna watch him closely and see what happens. All right, now time to try to put the zinnias in the ground and see what happens. Yeah, we need to trim down some of the other stuff. Let's make a line of zinnias here. This soil is actually pretty wet, which is awesome. Okay. I have no idea which species is which. But we're gonna gently set it in, cover her back up, pat her down. And I think the spots are because they just are getting too wet and not enough air. These are probably still way too close together, but my theory is the closer I put them together, the less weeds we get. Like there's still a good root on this bad boy and a lot of dirt. So let's give him a new chance. Because to me, this kind of feels like up potting. We do this anyway. I'm just trying it in ground. In ground up potting. Ugh. Yeah, if you can't tell, I have clay soil. I've been amending this soil for quite a while. Still freaking clay. But zinnias actually like pretty crappy soil. The sad thing is, is I'm not seeing a whole bunch of worm babies. Leave some of that original soil. Oh, there's a bumble around my head and I'm highly allergic. That's calmly. I'm planting more food for you, sir. If you leave me alone, you get more food eventually. <laughs> I grabbed quite a few sinews. Okay. We'll just plop them all around the garden then because I have quite a few bare spots now, for some reason. But different experiments, some of them didn't work, like this bed. I put um, Tuckawanda burdock leaves down and nothing germinated, it was insane. Except for a, like two sunflowers and that was it. So I will not be doing that again because that to me, ooh, Seems like it didn't. Okay, you guys are brother and sister. You're just happy together. So we will leave you like that. Seems that it didn't quite work out. So, don't know if I just didn't give the seeds enough light for germination. But now the bee should be happy. And not sting the bejesus out of me. All right, we have quite a few more to find a home for. This is another bed that nothing really seemed to bloom in. However, if you see all the green right there, those are all the nasturtiums, which have crappy soil, and this is good soil. So, again, you may be doing nothing wrong. Maybe somebody came in and ate my seeds because I do have one lonely sunflower that germinated and my comfrey is doing perfectly fine so I am going with the idea that uh, somebody ate my seeds or I planted them too deep those are my options but let's get the rest of these zinnias in so that this bed has something in it instead of weeds coming up see look how dark this soil is which means it's really healthy soil 
Yet I can guarantee you that bed is just clay. Just clay. Don't want to crush the roots. I don't want it to have to try and solve for the leaves that are not doing great. Jewers, the little baby one. If any don't survive, it'd be this one. It's a little frail. This one's super sad looking. There are deer watching me from the forest. I can hear them. I think they're plotting their vengeance. I hear you. I know you don't like zinnias. That's why I'm putting them here. Because I need y'all to stop eating all the things. I missed the baby. There are a couple of babies in here I missed. Let's just see what happens. Oh, yeah, I'm I don't even know if that's aimed the right direction. That's a weed. Right there. He's very deep. And supposedly we're supposed to be getting some rain. Hey birdies. All right. Transplantation has begun. So just the upper view, planted one there, planted a rose there, found a runaway right there, and then over on the other side of the onions. My garlic's almost ready, which that's gonna be a lot of work. I'm excited and I'm not excited. <laughs> I am excited because I love garlic. I'm not excited because I'm going to have to dig it all up. <laughs> and our blackberries are getting close if the birds let me have some. The same with the raspberries if the birds let me have some. But it is now time to go get prepared for the hard work of moving the chickens. So just remember, you're not doing anything wrong. You are learning. You're probably working 40, 50, 60, 70 hours a week on top of trying to have a garden and a place of peace and calm. Don't stress yourself out over the garden. Nature is nature. She's going to do what she wants. And we might as well just work with her. That's it. Work with her. Do what you can. Your garden is supposed to be a place of peace, not a place of stress. And if that means you want to spend five hours weeding your entire garden on a daily basis, then do it. Or if you want the weeds to just go Foof, and be everywhere, do it. Things will still grow. The only reason we want to take the weeds out, for me, they attract gnats and I'm freaking done with gnats. And I like being able to walk and I don't want to have to wear my muck boots all the time. It annoys me. Therefore, I pull the weeds out of the walkways. <clears throat> I don't tend to pull them out of the beds unless I have nothing around them because I'm more scared of disturbing the roots on my plants than I am about the weeds doing bad things to my plants. All right, on that note, 
if you like these random videos, and I know they're random and I don't stick to a format of any kind, shape, form, fashion, whatever, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe, and I will catch y'all next time. Bye.